Do you know why couples quarrel and fight? Mm. Many reasons. Some because of money. Some because of uh, unfaithfulness. Various reasons are given. Mm. But beloved, let's zero back into God's word. Why do couples quarrel? I have spoken a bit about uh, the, 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 the word of God in the book of Romans 12 and 1. Two basic things, principles that couples need to know and do and carry out. And if you are single listening to me, please listen and please abide by his word. The first one here, okay, let's, uh, let me just take the scripture of verse um, 1 of Romans 12. I will take 1 and 2. And so, dear brothers and sisters, I plead with you to give your bodies to God because of all he has done for you. Let them be a living and holy sacrifice, the kind he will find acceptable. This is truly the way to worship him. Don't copy the behavior, verse 2, and customs of this world, but let God transform you into a new person by changing the way you think. Then you will learn to know God's will for you, which is good and pleasing and perfect. The problem is this, that one, many aren't submitted to God. When you submit yourself to God, here it's even talking about submission of your body, but there's no way a man or a woman will submit their body to God and will not submit their totality, their life, spirit, soul, and body to God. Paul tells us here in the book of 12.1 of Romans to submit our bodies. When you submit your body to God, you will not carry that body to go and commit fornication. You will not carry that body to go and commit adultery. You are married. You will not carry that body to go and fight. Some couples fight physically, but you are not honoring God by that. Some use their mouth and abuse their spouses, even curse. But when your body is submitted to the Lord, Karabashendere, submit your bodies, your hand. I know there's this uh, children's song, if I can remember it, that says, My head, my shoulder, my knees, my toes, my head, my shoulder, my knee, my toes, my head, my shoulder, my knees, my toes, all belong to Jesus. Can we do the same with our lives? So that when there's a need, then we'll, we'll know to do the right thing. Verse 2 says, We shouldn't copy what the behavior and customs of this world. Some men follow their tradition and, you know, their custom and tradition. Ah, the woman, she can't talk while I'm talking. You won't even listen to her counsel, nothing. You slap her or beat her, like treat her like a slave. Treat her like he bought her. After all, I paid your dowry. And so, she's not your slave. So, but when we renew our minds, when we first and foremost submit ourselves to God, and in doing the submission, you submit yourself to God the Father. If you are single, you submit yourself in totality. If you are married, as you submit yourself to God, you also submit yourself to, 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 to your spouse. Yes, you submit yourself to, to your spouse to serve them, to do them good, to be a blessing, to love to be all that God wants you to be for each other because it's a sacrificial life. But how many want to do that? You get up to a point, I'm tired. Oh, and then trouble, 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 trouble. The verse 2 talks about the mind renewal. Many people enter marriage with um, uh, certain negative mindsets. Some come with baggages. But as you study the word, do it alone. Do it together as a couple. Sit down. Do Bible study together. Let one lead. Give yourselves time. Lead for a month. Lead for a week. Or you do it day by day. You read and you share and you pray together. And you, you, you determine your heart, not in your strength, but by the power of the Holy Spirit to follow what the word says. You go out there, guy. You see beautiful girls. Maybe, who knows, your secretary might be a girl. She may even be more attractive than your wife. 
would you now allow the worldly style to dictate to you or the godly way to dictate to you which will it be you find that when you follow god's way you won't be you won't even when you are tempted you will you will not want to go that way you will pray you will remove things of the temptation around you there's a, a testimony of uh, of uh, a certain man of god i put it in my book the mystery of marriage i shared this testimony here with his permission he saw this lady somewhere in a city in a, in nigeria somewhere was going out and he lost it after the lady he knew that was wrong the typical man will savor that moment the pleasure but you are opening the way to the enemy to come and take a place the what did the lord say that once as a man what do you do if you as as long as you sin with your eyes and you're lost after you are guilty you've committed the sin of what adultery he knew what the word said so what did he do he stopped he said he stopped where he was supposed to go went back home and told his wife confess before his wife say i'm sorry this is what happened please pray for me of course the wife prayed for him and ministered to him how do you think will happen to that marriage in fact they are having a great marriage today they are still together being blessed of the lord they've been a blessing back because they are all into marriage ministry as well the man knew what to do if he didn't have the word of god what the typical worldly person would have savored that maybe even tried to chase the girl <laughs> you know he has a wife at home chases after her but he didn't do that he fled like joseph fled from potiphar's wife <laughs> so the word is a light directs us guides us the same with a woman you're married and then someone is hitting coming after you and you think oh it boosts it flatters your ego okay it's not only my husband so i'm still attractive sister close the door run and tell your husband pray together and when you watch each other's back you'll be kept but if you do not submit yourself first to god you will not be able to submit yourself to your partner to serve to love to be what god wants you to be and you will not be guided by his word so romans 12 1 and 2 i put them in my book the mystery of marriage it's important those two verses of scripture there's so much meat to get out from this two of you sit down please study read individually corporately share pray for one another in what way can i serve you and together as a couple if you are married submit yourselves to the lord i surrender i surrender all i surrender i surrender all all to thee my blessed savior i surrender surrender all do you surrender everything when you surrender to the lord it will be easy for you to sur surrender yourself to your partner your body belongs to the lord your body is the temple of the holy spirit and your body belongs to your wife to your husband if you are married if you are single your body belongs to the lord is the temple you are the temple of the holy spirit so you cannot afford to join your body to another so no room for fornication or adultery the lord will judge he's coming soon he's coming again i was giving this message it says to tell couples they are missing the blessings of marriage because they are not doing it right go back to the beginning go back to eden go back to what the word says in the book of genesis to leave father and mother and to cleave to your wife cleave two of you becoming one one flesh and in sincerity in honesty you live your life honoring the lord and if you are single hebrews 12 sorry hebrews 13 verse 4 tells us this too god is going to judge whether you are fornicator and adulterer just don't give the room for satan close the door what do you do submit yourself lord take over my eyes my heart my thoughts my everything 
and then go to the world. The Holy Spirit will give the grace and impact you and package you and keep you and preserve you and protect you. Jesus is coming soon. And the rapture, when it does happen, there's no sign to say, okay, bagam, leave me. Rapture is going to happen tomorrow morning. No, even with all of these things that are going on in the world, these are signs to show, you know, to tell us about his second coming. But as for when he will come to take away his bride, nobody knows. But these are messages going out now. Did you remember the ten virgins? Five were foolish, five were wise. They had the oil. By the power of the Holy Spirit, the Lord will preserve us and keep us. Let's be the five wise virgin. Whether you're a single person or married, divorced or widowed, keep your body for the Lord and let the light of God direct you by his word. Oh, Rabba, Baba, ba, Shende. You have a, any question? Feel, feel free, please, to reach us on the website, Agape Marriage Ministry. Drop your questions there. And you can get the book, The Mystery of Marriage, written by Veronica Nogo, on, on the website, as well as Amazon, as well as Okada Books. And there are other books, too, that you can see that will be a blessing to you. Shall we pray? Father, thank you, Lord, for your word has come forth. Let it be a seed that will take root and go and bring forth good fruit in the life of the hearer. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. God bless you.